George, George, George of the jungle, strong as he can be. Watch out for that tree! George, George, George of the jungle, lives a life that's free. Watch out for that tree! When he gets in a scrape, he makes his escape with the help of his friend. An ape named ape, then away he'll schlep on his elephant Shep, Magnolia, and Ursula stay in step. It's a beautiful morning in the jungle as its inhabitants wait to face another day of fighting for their very survival. Hey, get off me! We had a deal, Bernard! Oh, oh! That's how it's gonna be! Fine! Is your spleen ticklish? Huh? <laughs> okay, Magnolia, get it together. You're living the dream. Nothing like the life of a jungle scientist. <laughs> nope. Nope. No. -uh. Two weeks in a row. Oh. <laughs> You can do this. You're tough. You're ready. You're a jungle scientist. You're Magnolia! Why? Why does everything here hate me so much? Oh. Mmm. <gasps> Thank you, Patrick. Ugly <laughs> <laughs> devil. Oh. We'd love to. Life good here. You said it, George. <laughs> Magnolia, please have nice time too. Bernard, <laughs> that's me. Are you okay, Magnolia? I don't belong here. No one belong in Snake. No, I mean you all belong in the jungle. I don't. I'm just a science geek in bad cargo shorts. Even the quicksand has it out for me. No, you part of jungle, just like us. Indeed. All you need is a little cheering up. What I need is to go back to my tent, have a cry, and write my resignation letter. Hey, right. We take you for super cheer up jungle fun trip. I really don't want to. Do it. How did you? Don't worry about that. We're here for fun. Cannonball! Wait! <laughs> that caught full of piranha! <laughs> <laughs> it okay, Magnolia. Piranha good pals. See, we all jungle friends. Well, okay then. We forget they like foreign food. Mmm, oh. tasty lunch. Dig in, Magnolia. They're organic and free range. Have these ever been tested? I mean, how do you know if they're safe to eat? Mm. Oh, George eats some city with Tiny George. Mm. No problem. And we apes have enjoyed burger trees for generations. Okay. Mm. You guys are right! It's the little... How were you to know you were allergic? I should have guessed! Great! What's this? Some secret I'm not jungle enough to know? 
Yes! I mean, no! No, 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 no secret. We were just discussing what fun place to go next. Yes! Come now! Come! This is dumb. I should just go... <laughs> hey, wait! I've never been to this part of the jungle before. Hey! I, I don't know where I am! <laughs> oh, poop. Great! Just one more reason why I don't belong here. Even my so-called friends forgot about me. I'll go back to my tent and then back to the city. Which way is my tent? That way? Uh, uh oh, maybe through there. No, no, it, it's got to be past that tree. Huh. What's he looking at? Whatever it is, must be delicious. It's me, isn't it? I'm delicious. <laughs> okay, okay. I know we went south this morning, so my tent has to be north. Okay, Lucky Compass, don't fail me. No! North! North! How do I find North? And... You're a magnet! Ha! North! <laughs> Why is my life so hard? There's got to be a way across. Use those degrees, Magnolia. If I pluck a feather from that bird, it'll squawk and wake up that snake, which will push over that rock, which will roll and knock over that tree, then domino those trees and make a bridge across the chasm. Yes! I knew Jungle Physics 202 wasn't a waste! <laughs> Come on! It's not rocket science! <laughs> I get either, buddy, but it's the only way. Where's your spleen? Yes! Ha! Take that! What you gonna do now, pussycat, huh? Fly! <laughs> Just go log to log. You can do this. Oh my gosh, the teeth! How can I tell the logs from the crocodiles? Oh, I hate you, evolution! Uh, 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 aha! My piggies are so blistered, I bet I can feel the difference. Log, log, croc! Log, croc, croc, croc! Log, log! Because tigers never give up the hunt. They're jerks like that. Ape? You've been here the whole time, you fuzzy little... <laughs> what? Oh, oh, I get it. This is where I go nuts from being alone and starving in a cave for a month. <laughs> Maybe crazy only way survive. <laughs> Not stupid, smart! You smart to hide in here. Except you not notice jungle vending machine. That's kinda dumb. Magnolia smart about science and jungle. So use brain thinky thing one more time to beat Tiger. Me believe in you. What do you know? You're just a pile of <laughs> rotten coconuts. But maybe, maybe you're right. What kind of jungle scientist would I be if I let this jungle beat me? It's go 
time, baby! you with a little celebration of your jungle anniversary. But you forgot me in the jungle! We just needed a little time to set up your surprise party. I was lost for six months! Yeah, we think that's strange too, especially since we only lose you over there. And left you a map, food, and an arrow pointing this way. But wow! You survive alone for six months? You as jungle as us for sure. <laughs> Let's put that to the test. But run! <laughs> George may be king of the jungle. But he's definitely not king of ideas. What's wrong, George? Uh, George needs stop Jerk Eagle from eating cute meerkats. Every time George turn away, Eagle... Hey, Jerk Eagle! What'd George do to save meerkats? Remember when those jungle pigeons wouldn't stay off my tent? I made a scarecrow to keep them away. If anything, more pigeons came to laugh at it. So whatever you do, don't do... Hey! George C. <laughs> oh, you didn't hear what I said. Good idea, Magnolia. <laughs> George not know how you do it. Is that how you see me? Ursula, George need help. How George get baby Lever across river and home to family? Duh, use canoe. Or raft! Or bridge! Ah! <laughs> Good idea, Ursula. Um, which one? Thank you, Ursula! Oh. Uh, hello? What George do now? George, you can't rely on other people for ideas. You need to come up with them yourself. Ah. Huh? George, an antelope is stranded on that high ledge. <gasps> Antelope in danger! Indeed! Quick, what do you do? Um, uh, George ask Ape for idea. But I've been eaten by a crocodile. What? <laughs> George cry because he missed Ape. But the antelope still needs your help. George. Yes? Ask Ursula. Oh, you can't. She's... Return to her home planet. <laughs> George's world collapsed. What if there's no one to ask? What if you have to come up with an idea by yourself? <laughs> now you never leave George, and he always has someone to ask what to do. George, you're missing the point. <laughs> Ursula Matt, take it out on Magnolia! What? Why? Why? Ah! George wanna help Magnolia, but George lousy at ideas. Apparently so, though I've never noticed it in any other episode. Hmm. <gasps> what a coincidence! This is an idea rock. If you find yourself wondering what to do, just ask it for ideas. Oh. Idea rock have name? Um, sure. It's Presley. Okay. Hey, Presley, what George do? Ooh, Presley's smart. He say, whoa. <laughs> yes, that's a good idea. I'll do that. Um, Ape okay? Ape's fine. He just has a bunch of to-dos. To-do. Ape! Um, what ape doing? 
Maybe George help? Doing? I'm not doing anything. With that, Presley? Yep. Ape definitely doing something. Relax, George. Slow down. Grab a tree and dangle. Yeah. You should hang upside down for a while. It's so amazing. Magnolia, why you hate Treehouse too? We no hate Treehouse. We no hate anything. Ursula, you no angry. Ursula never angry, see? Big smile, yay! No thanks, Presley, me not thirsty. George need to get to bottom of strange mystery. George said he not thirsty. Fine, you very pushy for rock. Sloth on shoulder! Look through glassy backwash! Mmm! Thank you, God! Delicious! See you later. We have to bounce. What George do? Presley, George needs save friends idea real bad! Okay, if Presley insist. <laughs> Where they go with invisible shoulder slots? What they building? Ooh, that good question too, Presley. <gasps> Holy rack bananas! <laughs> Excellent, my sloth chums. Soon we shall dominate this planet like we dominate afternoon naps. Okay, Presley. George hazy on details, but bit about Earth domination sound bad. What? Where? George, stop, evil sloth! But how? Are uh, you sure, Presley? Okay, if you say so. Whoa! Yeah, <laughs> great idea, Presley! <laughs> oh, man! Where's my dynamite? Where to go? George, never tell. Oh, no! Now you've done it! We're doomed! Game over, man! Right! George and Presley save Earth from evil slobs! No, man! When I say we're doomed, I mean you and me, not them! I was trying to stop all this. Uh, George and Presley no understand. You do flashback? <sighs> Fine. My name is Slothocles. And like all sloths, I'm not from your world. We sloths come from another, slower dimension, man. I arrived here many years ago with a sloth scout team. We were sent to discover your weaknesses, but instead fell in love with your world, specifically your fudge. This is the only dimension that contains the glory that is fudge, man. Instead of completing our mission, we decided to make Earth our new home. I hope the rest of our evil race would forget about us, but that was not meant to be. My people have enslaved your friends with their sloth powers of suggestion. Wait, how come evil sloth's invisible and you not? We sloths use an advanced mind-phasing technique to turn invisible at will. But I'm too lazy. Oh, and it's easily neutralized by backwash. This is also the only dimension with backwash technology, man. Um, George, could I borrow those goggles? It'll just make things easier for everyone. Sure thing, Sky Voice. Much better. That's a time break. When it's yanked, it'll slow time to match the sloth dimension. Then sloths will be the fastest things on this planet, man. When the sloth army comes through the portal, they'll subdue this world in the blink of an eye. I was gonna blow that thing sky high, but someone ate my explosives. Presley, how to save everyone? George, need idea, quick. Hmm, uh-huh. Oh yeah, oh I see, okay. Sure hope it worked. Good luck. George really hoping that do it. Yes! Get him, get Go him, George! get him. <laughs> Presley, what plan B? George, watch out for the ah! sloth! 
I am the Sloth Commander, but you may call me Peanut. Listen and do my bidding, Ape Man. You are powerless to resist. Whatever Peanut say, George do. <sighs> there goes the neighborhood, man. The whole dimension, really. Who better to pull the time break than the king of the jungle? This planet is ours. No. No. George, make own idea. That's likely. You failed at it this entire episode. Yes! What? Uh, wind blow you off! You have to go into hyperspeed to knock me loose. Look out! Uh, huh? George, free! Get, Get him! him. Get him. Must stop him! Get him! Must stop if slots want time to slow down, maybe better idea <gasps> to speed up. Uh, where did all these slots come from? No, my invasion. Cheer up! Have some fudge! Mmm, this is really good. I know, right? Now get lost! No! I want more fudge! George, you single-handedly saved us from sloth domination. I knew you had good ideas. Ah, uh, George not do much. Sloth McLees and Presley have all good ideas. All I did was ask you to stop him. And Presley is just a stone. I only pretended it was an idea rock to boost your confidence. George learned an important lesson today. He learned... Uh, oh, hold on. Uh, George, get it. Um, uh, water wet? No, George learned that yesterday. Um, ooh, fire hot. Oh, no. Maybe I should find a planet where I'm more appreciated.